Hey what's up everyone, Para AD here. In this video I'm going to show you the manual method for setting up a compound physics object or a custom collision mesh. I'll then go through my one click add-on that does this automatically. Please note that this only works for Blender version 2.91 and above. I'm going to start out with a basic example with the chain. So I'm just going to quickly set up that example. And now we could just use a mesh collision shape here, but the reason we don't is it takes more calculations for the rigid body physics system. And when we use a compound shape, we have more control over uh, how it interacts. So I'm going to use primitive cylinders to make up this shape. Important to transform it in object mode. Uh, otherwise, the wrapping doesn't work properly when you change it to cylinder. Alrighty, so I'm going to use all of these cylinders to make up my custom shape. I'll just duplicate that for later. So the manual approach for this is that we set the, this will be the parent object to rigid body active compound parent. There are no child rigid bodies, so I'll set those up now. Alrighty, so with all of our children selected, let's make them rigid body active. Changes to cylinder. And we'll copy from active. And then we need to select the main parent, control P, parent those. Uh, the origins over here, so we need to set that origin to geometry. Uh, it's creating problems now, but we're, we're doing it late. So let's reposition the children. And now that's set up as a compound shape, but if we render that, those objects are still visible, so we need to select the children. And change visibility so they're not visible in renders and then I like to change the display to wire and now it's clean in the render and that should be running physics so we can just copy this now as it's set up and if we change this one to passive then we have a chain so all of those steps are taken care of in my add-on. Firstly, we've got to install the add-on, so you download it from my Gumroad. Once you've downloaded it, F4, Preferences, Install, browse to the download location, double-click, we'll enable it there. And then the end panel, Power8D Physics. So to use it, select the parent, select the children. This is the child collision shape. Let's use the cylinder. Click this button, and all those steps are done. So we can do the same thing. And and now that's running nicely. I've created another scene here to show it off. So I have a more complex object here, and all these are going to be my child collision shapes. So once again, select the parent, select the children. In this case, we're going to need to use convex hull. Create shape. And now it's working. So it's just a little add-on to help you out. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. I've started a community discord, so jump in and have a look around link in the video description.